Speaking of cold weather, we're just hours away from much cooler conditions around here. Here's Joe. Uh, yeah, that's right. After a couple days of hitting the low 70s, it's all going to start to change starting tomorrow. There will be some limited snow throughout the northern western parts of the state, but much cooler air moving in. And instead of it just moving in and moving out, it's going to kind of be parked and reinforced with the cool air for a while. Briefly mild towards Sunday before it drops again. OK, here's the front coming down and notice that we have some uh, areas of uh, rain changing into snow and no Notice that as we get to midnight, a lot of this starts to fizzle out. So there's not going to be a whole lot of snow with this, but there could be some slick travel at times if you hit it just at the right time. But you see lighter amounts across the uh, more populated areas and then snow and blowing snow across some of the mountain areas. But as we look at tomorrow morning, it will be cold. Teens and 20s throughout northern western parts of the state, 20s and 30s throughout Santa Fe on into the Albuquerque area, 44 in Alamogordo. And then we get for tomorrow. That's an 18 degree drop here in the Albuquerque area. So it's Sunshine. The only plus side, there's going to be less wind throughout much of New Mexico, so that's a good thing. But another reinforcing surge of cold air starts to work in, and these are the coldest temperatures so far this season for the Albuquerque area, 26 degrees. You see 22 over in Santa Fe and northeastern parts of the state, teens and 20s. Now look at the highs on Friday throughout Raton, Clayton, on into Las Vegas. That's pretty bitter for this time of year, so it's going to take a while to pull out of this. And then as we show you, the various uh, forecasts are around the state. Notice that we have that cool down for tomorrow. Cold start, chilly afternoon. We get improvement by Sunday and then another system skirts by Monday, followed by more dropping temperatures. Now, southwestern parts of the state not quite as impacted. It's going to be gusty for the first part of the evening as we roll on into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Temperature drop not as dramatic, but still starting off around freezing over the next several days. We'll see 60 over in the Alamogordo area, 54 Ruidoso, 70 over in Hobbs. So we'll see uh, lower daytime highs tomorrow on into the weekend. Then we bounce up on Sunday. That front comes in for Monday and look how the temperatures fall behind it. Northeastern parts of the state. We told you that well temperatures will be lower tomorrow and really kind of plunge as we get into Friday. Uh, it gets better over the weekend. Then some snow showers around followed by more cold temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday and we'll see 15 to 39 in Chama. We'll see 28 to 46. So a, a crisp day tomorrow over in the Santa Fe area. Much the same as we get into Friday and then check it out. A temperature of 37 degrees for a high toward the middle of next week and a colder start tomorrow morning with a cooler afternoon. So there you have it. We'll see a low of 36, a high of 52 degrees and on uh, Veterans Day, it's going to be even colder. The coldest temp so far this season would be 26 degrees with a high not even hitting 50. And it improves a little bit over the weekend and then another cool down as we get into uh, deeper into next week. So mm. we were kind of spoiled here wow. in November where well, the first part of it was very, very mild. Yeah. But, you know, we saw you snuck in and dropped it one more degree. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. then now I'm just focused on the 44. I know. So that's that's a in, high, you know, not that's a That's why we come in every day and do a new forecast for you just so we <laughs> Give you it that changes. The numbers change. It does tend to change. Yeah. And we pay attention.